It's a cryptid. It's a cryptid. It's a cryptid. All right. Hey, everybody out there. It is time for me to do another Mario Paint challenge where I draw a cryptid creature from a description alone. So uh, I'm going to have my robot uh, describe a creature to me now. All right, Peabot, what you got for me? Today's cryptid is the Jersey Devil. The Jersey Devil is described as a creature with the head of a goat, leathery wings, and cloven hooves. Its eyes are said to glow red in the dark, and it has a forked tail that can be used to whip its strike. Some accounts even describe it as having a pungent odor. Uh, like where does it live? It's said to inhabit Pine Barrens, a vast, remote, and often desolate region of southern New Jersey. Dense forests, swamps, and bogs provides ample cover for a creature seeking to avoid human contact. So, trees, swampy, boggy, um, okay. I mean, how big is it? I guess I'm just going to go with the size of a goat head and then <laughs> just add from there. All right. All right, thank you, PewBot, for selecting the Jersey Devil. Okay, so I've heard the name Jersey Devil. Like, I think I've heard of it, but honestly, I don't have any idea what it looks like or what it's supposed to look like. I've never seen one. I mean, <laughs> I mean I've, I've never seen one. I've never seen a drawing of one. Um, so, you know, that's where I'm starting. First thing I want to do is uh, create a forest swamp. Which, um, let's go with the creature first, since I don't have layers to work with. It's Mario Paint, after all. Let's just, uh, see if I can draw a goat head. I don't even know what goats look like right now. Oh, I already hate this. They have, like, beady little eyes, right? I'm gonna need to look at a picture of a goat. Hang on a second. One hour later. Yeah, that's, uh, this is, um... This is the worst thing I've ever drawn in my, in my life. This is terrible. Get out of here. This is not a deer. It's a devil. Doesn't it look scary? <laughs> Looks like a kangaroo. Okay, I'm starting over. Maybe I'll try it from like uh, straight on, you know? It's just gonna look sad. Uh, okay, and then like a little. <laughs> just a little goat smile. Okay, okay, this is coming along. <laughs> okay, I'm feeling better about this. These little ears might have some middle parts here. Is it supposed oh, to look terrible. cute? Get that out of here. I'm gonna try something uh, artistic. It looks Does cute. It have, like kind of um. Is this a good idea? Is this working? It's gonna be really hard to color in. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm feeling pretty good about that. He's got like um, he's got like unicorn uh antlers two of them which make them it makes them like more magical leathery wings and cloven hooves okay so let's let's just give them the the hooves they're gonna come just straight off his body right here and i don't know cloven means like two like that Wait a minute, does it kind of look like Santa's reindeer? Christmas is right around the corner. Pewbot, are we doing Rudolph? Are we doing like a reindeer, like a... I know the reindeer are technically cryptid, but... Am I, am I, <laughs> am I drawing a Christmas? Am I drawing a Christmas reindeer right now? Yes, Christmas is no, right around the corner. No, because I'm going to give it wings. Christmas, Christmas you know, is right... Now that I think about it, why don't, why don't <laughs> Santa's reindeer have wings? Like, how cool would that be? Why, why do they just, like, float in the air? I know it's like magic or whatever, but, like... I don't know, G give them some fucking scary bat wings or whatever, you know? So, that's what I'm gonna do. Leathery wings. Yeah, 
yeah it's it looks like a, a christmas reindeer with bat wings that's okay it's fine okay leathery wings cloven hooves uh red eyes oh and a forked tail okay forked tail i think that's where we gotta do the animation right because it's gonna swing the tail around and like hit the ground i guess or maybe kill something catch on fire i don't know what it's gonna do whatever it's gonna do it's gonna fucking be scary as fuck but we're just gonna <laughs> we're just okay no we should do we should do more hooves these hooves cloven enough for you cloven. yeah we're gonna just leave a little spot so that's where i'm gonna animate a tail <laughs> i think um so that's cool i feel like i want the hooves to be a different color are you saying hooves? So, we're just gonna... <laughs> I'm really tempted to give them, like, funny shoes, like little boots or something. But, um, I'm gonna go with photorealism. Oh, yeah, that's photorealistic AF. That does compute. <laughs> okay, actually, it looks pretty good. Now it's starting to look like a, a moose on the lower half. All these cryptids, they're always, like, combinations of animals, so... Who's to say that the lower part of this animal isn't a moose? And let's make him like a <laughs> a different brown. Like some kind of gross, jittery texture. And then I guess his face should be the same color as brown as the... Yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right, and he's got glowing red eyes, which we're gonna make red. We're gonna do the ears. Brown also. And then I guess let's use the nose color on the inside, like to give it a little, you know, like how ears go in a little bit. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go with this weird yellow color. And this is going to be a nightmare. Let's draw the habitat. And for some reason, I always imagine these things hang out at night. I mean, right? Ooh, like a horizon swamp line. My fun tree technique. It's where you make it look like a dick first, but then you add leaves and shit to it. <laughs> Let's do some smaller trees in the back too. Give a little sense of perspective. Okay, now we're looking for like some swamp water type of vibe. <laughs> this, this is coming out a little bit better than I expected. I'm, uh, am I, am I getting better at this? Some like slimy, you know, like EU color. Yeah, it's just like some pond scum and then <laughs> We'll do some, uh, I don't know, some weird, like, gross fucking, that's pretty good. What about lily pads? Pond scum was the name of my programmer. Well, that, that looks like shit. How about this one? I need something dark. Yeah, that's better. All right, it has a forked tail that it can be used to whip and strike. It's animation time. I'm gonna do approximate a forked tail. And I don't know, it's like about that big. Copy and paste, just so they're all in the right spot. And I don't know, it says forked. All right, I'm gonna take some artistic license here. I'm just gonna give it a, a spike, like one big weird spike. I'm making a photorealistic tail here. And um, I don't know, let's give him a little, uh, 
like little, I don't know, dinosaur tail spots or something. A little Looks texture. Like, looks like hair. I love this airbrush thing. Oh. Looks like a hairy finger. Uh, okay. Well, let's see what that looks like. <laughs> That's not bad. I mean, it looks more like it's happy to see us, but uh, <laughs> maybe if I speed it up. I'm happy to see you, too. Who's a good boy? Damn, I think I... Uh, I think I'm happy with it. I mean, I, I don't know. What else does it say over here? All right, yeah, head of a goat, leathery wings, cloven hooves, eyes are red, uh, and it's got a forked tail that can be used to whip and strike. So I think I fucking nailed that. All right, well, uh, that's the Jersey Devil. I think I did a pretty good job. Let's, <laughs> let's go to the side-by-side. Okay, <laughs> so it looks like he walks around on his hind legs like a person. Looks too cute. Most of the time, and not like a goat. Looks like a dog. Um, <laughs> sometimes? Looks like a finger. Looks like a hairy finger. Looks like a dog with a hairy finger tail. Like, the head doesn't look like a goat head. It looks like if a horse wasn't happy with its appearance and got way too much cosmetic surgery. Um... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like a three-year-old drew this. I think I did pretty good. It looks like you did a bad job. Some of these are kind of cute. This is cute. It looks like a cute dog wearing a Halloween costume. It looks like a Christmas reindeer. It looks like you ran out of time, but there was no time. I did pretty good. I think I'm going to give myself uh, four goat heads out of a possible six goat heads. It looks like a drawing that got honorable mention at a third grader's art show. Anyway, if you like these videos and you want to see more, just uh, tell me to do more and I'll probably do more. And uh, thanks for watching.